There is a troubling indicator about global warming. Preliminary data shows the Earth has breached a critical temperature threshold for the first time in recorded history. On Friday, according to Europe's Copernicus Climate Monitor, the global average temperature was more than two degrees higher than pre-industrial levels. It happened on Saturday, too. The data surpasses the limits set out in the Paris Climate Accord in 2015. That's when global leaders agreed to work towards capping the rise of global temperatures at 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels. As Jackson Prosco reports, carbon-cutting policies haven't done enough to reduce emissions. Though it's still only spring in Brazil, temperatures have already outpaced the depths of summer. The heat index reached 58 degrees Celsius in Rio Saturday, pushing the limits of survival. The future has arrived, said this local climate expert. We will collect what we sowed for decades of negligence. Planet-wide, temperatures are obliterating records. Scientists confirm Earth briefly surpassed the two-degree warming limit set out in the Paris Climate Accord, part of a disturbing long-term trend. The temperature we are experiencing in these days are unprecedented in, in our civilization in the last thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years. Temperature is just part of the story. Floods, droughts and fires have all been supercharged by climate change, yet countries are missing their emission targets. The world's fossil fuel producers are planning a massive increase in production, blowing past the world's carbon budget twice over at a time when they should be cutting emissions. The emissions gap is more like an emissions canyon, a canyon littered with broken promises, broken lives and broken records. Without drastic changes, the UN warns the world is firmly on track to see three degrees in warming by the end of the century a catastrophic point of no return, threatening the future of humanity. We will see maybe 10 times as many uh, extreme weather events. We're also risking that large parts of the world might become uninhabitable. These dire warnings come just a week before the COP28 climate conference, where world leaders will be urged to strike a drastic new deal on emissions. To keep the global average temperature from rising by more than two degrees Celsius, the UN warns that countries will need to slash emissions by 28% before the end of this decade. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.